Welcome back to the channel guys. It's your boy Smokester here back at you with another video and today I well first off I want you to look at this gear RC designs has been hooking me up with some fire gear bro his link to his discord is down in the description of all my videos go check him out man he has been keeping me hooked up with this gear like I he has just been sending a bunch of it like everything he's making he's slapping my name on I love it keep them coming RC and if you guys like fire gear bro go check him out man because I, I, I love his gear. I love how he does it. It just looks amazing. And the dude creates it so fast. Like, you ask for something, it's like an hour later. So, absolutely just fire uh, gear maker and just all around amazing at what he does. You know what I'm saying? So, go check his stuff out. And second off, I made a, mis a mistake. So, yesterday on the Southwick video... I posted that it was JV that made the tracks, right? And I was talking to Hell Machine last night and come to find out that Hell Machine, Stone Rider, and JV all do equal parts and work together every week on, on these ARL tracks that come out, right? And because of that, I felt like total crap because I was giving all the credit to JV. But the credit goes to all three of them. JV, Stone Rider, Hell Machine. All three of them are doing a bunch of work every week, putting in a lot of work to get those tracks out. So I just want to clear the air. And I know it might not seem like a big deal to some people, but for me it was like, you know, it was like misinformation type stuff. So all three of those guys put in a bunch of work to make sure we get those tracks every week and make sure that they are of like, you know, the top quality so definitely shout out to those guys and my apologies stone rider and hell machine i did not mean to like um downplay your contributions to the the tracks that we are getting it was not my intention at all i did not mean to so my apologies i hope y'all ain't mad at me man i know me and hell machine are good we talked i've never actually talked with stone rider so i can't i uh, i can't say if he's mad at me or not but that's my bad um yeah like i was aware you guys helped with those tracks i just i guess wasn't aware of how much you did on them you know what i'm saying so like yeah that's totally my bad i dropped the ball on that so Sorry about that, guys. I, I can't say sorry enough, man. I feel like total crap about it, man. Um, but yeah, back to the track. So this is by Typical Canadian. This is Mesquite Round 6 of the ARL All-Star Nationals. And man, he, he just... From what we've written so far, bro, this thing is fire. Now, I went and looked at the qualifying times for the... Um, for the ARL All-Star Nationals and it was like a 115.3 was 30th. So the last qualifying spot was 115.3. So I'm hoping that somewhere we can get, you know, in the 115s. I would feel comfortable with that. Even if we don't quite get the qualifying time, somewhere in the 115s would make me feel real good about myself. <laughs> Cuz I'm not the fastest, you know what I mean? So it's looking like we're doing pretty good. We had a 118.3 and we're a second and a half up so far. So Hopefully we can pull that out out our rear end. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, so uh, all of these uh, tracks that he's made for this series have been awesome. You know what I'm saying? And so I guess I just want to know what he's going to do next after all of these. You know what I mean? Like, I hope he has some stuff in the works because I'm pretty sure that he has all the tracks for these rounds already made. And so I know he just released the Private Sand track. And I'm just hoping that he has, you know, he has another treat for us. Because I really enjoy these tracks, man. I really do. Like, Typical Canadian has done, hey, we did. We got a 115.77. Now, that is not qualifying speed. 115.3 would have put us in the qual. So, that's not the best. But, but like I was saying, I really, you know, I want to see something else coming from him. Because, like, I love these tracks. And I just love the way... Uh, TC makes his tracks and I love riding them bro I really do so my favorite jump on this track it's actually a straight section it's this right here after this corner so you like jump into this 
hole and then you hit this massive triple out it's absolutely amazing i love that man and then going into this nice corner now I don't know what it is exactly about these tracks that I love so much. I just love the flow on them, I guess. The flow, the um, the way they're built, and I really like like how he just pieces them together. You know what I'm saying? Each track has had like a different feel to it. Not none of them have felt the exact same. You know what I mean? Um, and that I really do appreciate because that's not easy to do you know what i'm saying like you actually feel like these are all from different places they don't feel the exact same they have the same kind of style like you know you can tell the same track creator made them but they don't look the same or have the same vibe to them at all so i absolutely love that man i really do and i'll tell you what that's hard to do because i'm i'm struggling with my track um with like the things that i want to do with it but some news on that i am in the stage of placing objects onto the track and i'm hoping to have that track released by the end of next week on mxb mods for free and i'm hoping that you guys enjoy it i probably will release it a couple days early in my discord um just because i know i don't know if my account is like if I've had it long enough or whatnot for me to be able to post on there, so we'll see. But I'll probably post it in Discord, you know, a couple days early. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, man. I did. I put a lot of work into it, but it's not like it's not like quality like this. You know what I'm saying? So I did what I could, though. I'll tell you that much. You know. <laughs> now with the beta 19 update, I have had a lot of problems with the front end tucking on my bike and i think i solved it for the most part and the way i did that so backtrack a little bit the, what i felt with the bike was that it was like the bike was leaning further over than normal than it was prior and that's i feel like it's because they switched the rider weight from the rear wheel to the front wheel right i could be wrong about that and maybe i'm tripping but i first went and changed my direct lean by like seven or ten and it helped a little bit and I liked the way it felt so I kept it but I went after that and I went and changed my gain on my lean I was at like a 91 I want to say and I put that down to an 83.9 or an 85 somewhere in that range and it doesn't feel like the bike turns slower or anything like that I can still lean just as far over as I need to from before like my bike still feels the exact same but it doesn't hit that point to where the front end just tucks on me when i'm leaning you know what i'm saying so if you're having problems with the front end i know a lot of people have not been having problems a lot of people have really said it feels better and they haven't had as many front tucks but there have been a few people like me where like it's front tuck city man it's just happening you know what i'm saying and if that's the case with you definitely try to change your lean gain um i think that'll help out a lot man i really do it helped me and i don't think i've had a single front tuck in this video and this is the first like i changed it before i started riding these laps so that's why i brought it up last because i just made that change and it seems to be working really well bike turns just the same it just stops it from hitting the ground at that point to where the front wants to tuck that right there was my my fault that was a dumb move <laughs> that was on me that was not on the bike but but yeah man typical canadian has been absolutely killing these and um i hope he keeps them up man i i absolutely enjoy these and uh this track is actually on the shop right now i believe it's dollar fifty go check it out and other than that man hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all next time man peace